Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear friends, in the last part of this video, we have modeled and analyzed this simple truss shed. In this video, we will design it. But before going to design this structure, we will do some changes in the model due to some problems. So let's check those. Before getting started, if you are new to our channel, then please hit like and subscribe button and share as well with your friends and let's learn structural engineering together. One more thing, we have already started design course related to reinforced concrete structures. If you did not watch those videos, then please go and watch those. Links of those videos I am sharing in the description of this video. So let's get started. This is the truss elevation in the XZ plane that we have modeled, which is having pin supports at the bottom and the points at which truss is connected to the columns are having the moment releases. We are analyzing this structure for gravity loads but lateral load may hit the structure or even self weight induces some eccentricities which may lead to the structural collapse. This is what we call as the collapse mechanism. Let me tell you the reason behind this. Let's have a freestanding pin based column. If any lateral load is applied to the free end of this column, then resistive moment can't be induced at the base. So in result, the column will collapse. This is known as unstable column. But on the other hand, let's have a freestanding fixed based column. And if the lateral load is applied to its free end, resistive moment induced at the base and the column will deflect like this. This is known as the stable column. Let's see the frame elevation in YZ plane which is also having the pin supports at the bottom. Here beams and columns are having the moment connections and if the lateral load is applied or due to self weight eccentricities no collapse mechanism will be generated because of the moment transfer at the joints. So due to these reasons we have to modify our boundary condition supports for the column. So what we do, we will modify our supports such that in XZ plane the columns will behave as a cantilever having the fixed base but in the YZ plane the column is behaving as a pin base because in YZ there are moment frames. So this is our model. Now just click on this hidden button and go to boundary tab. The un unlock the model, define supports and replace. So we have to make the XZ plane as fixed. So there are six degrees of freedom. DX dy, dz, rx, ry and rz. rw we are not considering in our design. This is the warping degree of freedom. So let's ignore it. So there are the six degrees of freedom. Three are translational and three are rotational. So in which we will only allow rx to be released so that yz plane of column is behaving as pin. So by releasing rx degrees of freedom, what we do is that we are releasing the moment about global x-axis. So this is global x-axis. This is global y-axis. So we are releasing the moment for about x-axis. So select dx, dy and dz all the translational to be restrained and ry and rz to be restrained and rx only to be released. Just select all the supports nodes and click on apply. Okay, so only rx is released now. Press F5 to run the model and now we will design this structure. So go to the design tab and general design parameters. The first option definition of frame. So there are two options for each direction, X and Y directions. There is unbraised or sway, braised or non-sway. I will make a separate video regarding all the aspects of bracing. What is the concept of bracing, why we provide it and all related stuff will be discussed in that video. So for the time being, since there are no bracings in our model, in 
any of the two directions so it is unbraced now just check it auto calculate effective length factors so it will automatically calculate for the columns design type is 3d click on ok we are first interested to design the column so just selecting the code aisc15 lrfd16 design code take beam deflections ok strength reduction factors update by the code ok modify steel material it's ok ok now just click on the perform batch design steel code checking and run the analysis click on the connect model so we can identify the selection of the members so all the columns are not good ng so there are different notations so ok means the strength design check is all right and slenderness condition is also all right ok steric means the strength design conditions are all right but the slenderness condition is violating which means that member is exceeding the slenderness limit ng means the strength design condition is not satisfied but the slenderness condition is okay and ng steric means the strength design condition is not satisfied and slenderness limit is also violating so let's unselect all and select only the column it is ng steric so let's quickly go to graphics so we can see that kl over r slenderness ratio is exceeding 200 it's about 392 and the limit is 200 so it is exceeding similarly we can also check the axial strength it's only about 19.32 kN but the applied force or demand is 37.63 kN so that's why it is failing similarly in the bending there are also failure about z axis so the combined ratio is 20.272 it's a very drastic failure so we know that by controlling the slenderness ratio we can actually increase the axial strength and how can we modify the slenderness ratio we can decrease the slenderness ratio by increasing the radius of gyration r because it is in the denominator or we can decrease k value or l value so as we can see that there are no bracings in any of the two directions in our structure that's why it is failing because its unbraced length in y and z is too much it's 5000 millimeter it's 5 meters it's a very large length so that's why it is failing so what we do is that we will provide bracing in y direction so that slenderness ratio comes under the allowable limit and we have to pass the column so let's do just unlock the model and selecting the columns go to the nodes and element tab and divide into two all right select create element since we are only having these sections so just go to the properties tab section properties add column brace okay go to the nodes and element tab create Selecting the column brace. So these are the elements that have created. Now we'll create the bracing. Bracing is acting as a truss. So just go to the element type and select truss. And first uncheck these node and element intersection so that it is continue and not breaking at the intersection. selecting this and go to the translate we know that this distance is 10 meters so 10,000 0, 0 copy nodes and element attributes and ok ok so we have modeled the bracings select these and go to boundary beam release and pin pin ok now run the analysis now but before going to design these columns we can see that these columns now have been broken into two and if we design at this stage then the design results are not correct right let's just design at this stage and let's just select these two columns only and click on the perform batch design steel code check and run 
Now, what is the maximum ratio that we get? It's 0.505. Let's just go to the graphics. So keep in mind this value. Unbraced length along Y, unbraced length along Z, both are 2500 mm. Alright? And combined design ratio is 0.505. Alright? But it is not the case. Let me tell you why. Go to this display option and element local axis ok now these are the element local axis let's just focus on this thing so we can see that this is the local y axis this is the local z axis and this is the local x axis right when we can see that the bending about z axis of this column so the column will bend like this why because there is a middle bracing here and here intersecting at this midpoint all right but now when we consider the bending about y local axis of this column then it bends like this the whole unbraced length come into the picture it means that when we considering bending about z then unbraced length is only half which means the total length is 5000 mm so for bending about z lz becomes 2500 but bending about y ly will be 5000 mm so when columns break into more than one then this problems may occur to tackle this problem there is a command in midas gen which is known as the member assignment so let's go to general design parameter and this is the member assignment and click on automatic and select all and apply what this command do is let's say these are the two separate columns but we know that on site it is physically a single column and the software will design this and this separately but will show the result for maximum of these two as a one single member so we have just created this so let me tell you what are the other members that are converted from being two members let's say this one so this bottom card of the truss from element number 1 to 10 let me show you let's say selecting this truss only element number 1 2 3 2 10 so element number 1 to 10 it is indexing this 10 members as a single member and take it the index of 1 it is designing all the members but take the maximum result among these 10 and show it as a single so activate all let's check the other members this one this is the top chord okay this is the top chord okay these are the column okay column this bottom chord this These are the two beams but it is taken as a one because physically I wanted to have a single member here. Similarly for this one, this one, this one and so this is taken the top as a whole but these are connected from truss to truss. So let's just delete this one. Now I want these two purlin as a single member so just selecting this and selecting all other like this add manual now this time manual because I have selected these manually the previous and apply so this is all are created similarly on the other side as well now let's just perform the design the steel design now first comparing the column result so go to the member connect model and let's say where is the column search for the column this one 
and show the graphics for this we can see that now here ly is 5000 which is correct this element is representing the whole column because we have assigned it as a member so ly is 5000 lz is still 2500 and it is okay because there is a bracing but there is still a problem with lb the length for lateral torsional buckling which is considered when calculating the bending strength of a member so it is taking 2500 but it has to be 5000 why because there is a difference between effective length and unbraced length for bending the effective length of bending means ly and lz is considered for calculating the slenderness about the two cross-sectional axes but lb is the unbraced length to encounter the lateral torsional buckling of a member so i will make a separate video to illustrate this in detail just for the time being lb must be 5000 so just select all the columns Go to general design parameters and unbraced length. Now we have to make the LB as 5000 and apply. Now just design this and search for that column for the comparison. Select graphics. Now it is okay. Now the columns passing with the ratio of maximum of 0.711. Right now we will check the bracing. These truss braces it is passing with 0.286. As this section is 50 by 50 by 3.2 is minimum of all the tubes available, so it is okay. Now this particular member is representing 10 segments and give the maximum among these results in this one. Let's just click on the graphics. The maximum bending moment it is taken is 1292 kN mm and it is for the load combination number 2. So let's just only selecting this truss, activate, selecting this braces, deactivate and selecting this bottom code only now go to the results tab forces beam since this is considered as a beam so that's why i have click on the beam diagram and go to the load combination number two it's 1.2 dead and 1.6 live let's just open the local xc this is local y so bending about y right now apply solid fill view and all so we can see that the maximum bending moment we get is 3355 kN millimeter but it is designing this beam for lower bending moment for this bending moment so which is not correct so this is the problem sometimes occurring when the member assignment is checked so we have to take care of this activate all go to the design tab member assignment this is considered as a member this is considered as a member this is considered as a member all right so one whole bottom cord and half top cord for this side and half top cord for that side similarly for all the truss so once as we have checked for the bottom cord so just check for the top cord also so we can find this error for the top cord as well this is for all the truss so just only check it for one truss and it is applied for all now checking these two beams so just activate these perform batch design run member it is only a one member now so just select this graphics so it is considering the bending moment 36769 now go to the results tab Forces, beam, solid fill values, 
all for loot combination number two. So it is thirty six thousand seven hundred and forty six. So it is considering for the this moment. So it is okay. There is no problem for these beings. Now selecting all, we draw view. Go to the general design parameters member assignment. We have select these two girders, so it is applied for all. Now for the purlins as well. So let's uh, just select this purlin and go to the results, forces, beam, solid value, all. Why I am selecting this? Because governing load combination is this one. So how to know? Just click and design it. Graphics, okay. It is designing for 2009 kilonewton millimeter. Load combination number two here governs. So this is 2009, the maximum of all. So it is okay for the purlin as well. So let's check any other member. These are all the purlins. Okay. So it's only be problematic for bottom cord and the top cords so for designing these bottom and top cord we will ignore these member assignment so just select and delete apply okay and close now let's just select one truss open the local axis element local axis now for let's say the bottom cord we are just talk about the bottom cord for the time being so we can see that this is the local y axis for the bottom cord and if it is bent so it's completely bent along its 10 meter span so since we are we have deleted the member assignments so the unbraced lens which is taking care by the member assignment command for this members we have to put it manually so just selecting all these and go to general design parameters and go to the unbraced length and ly for the length for the bending ly should be 10,000 millimeters for lz it should be 1000 y because for these vertical members have braced it in the local z direction and unbraced length of 5000 mm for lb this is because uh, remember we have a one bracing member perpendicular to this point this yellow one this yellow member all right so that's why it's 5000 and ignore the torsional unbraced length it is something else and click on apply so here it is showing that 10,000 is LY 1000 is LZ and 5000 is LB it is in the same order always uh, this is not uh, true for this truss only but true for all the truss elements so we will do it for all Okay, so how can we do it for all? Let's just activate all and selecting this particular side and activate. So all the trusses have been activated. Now just selecting these members and deselected. So only the members press has been selected now so just go to this particular view and selecting so we can see all have been selected but we have assigned to this so just unselect it by clicking and give the same lens as we did for the first one
similarly for the top chord we have to measure these distance now go to the query tab query nodes from this node to this node it is 1028.4 from this node to this node it is also equal so all are equal to length so just go to this elevation this one and selecting this all okay now for this particular top chord let's just open local axis ly it is now grazed by these verticals it is having none less length ly of 1000 and lz depending about z since there are purlins which is bracing about its z axis and purlins spacing is also 1000 mm so just 1000 what about lb since our purlin is resting over the top flange of this beam and connected with the bolt and a cleat so it is restraining its compression flange to buckle to twist so that's why its lb should be 1000 as well click on apply similarly do for this now we have to assign the unbraced lengths of purlin as well why because purlins are also braced with each other with the help of a member known as sag rods so we did not model those sag rods so to encounter those effects what we do what we will do is just uh, selecting all the purlins so go to this section purlin select and activate all since the sag rod is bracing this member in 1/3 in this 2.5 meter length there must be at least two sag rods so it is breaking the unbraced length of this purlin into three parts that's why selecting all the purlins go to the unbraced length and let's just open the local axis these are the local axis of the purlins the bending about y is not affected by the sag rod it is just bend along with the sag rod so ly so just selecting this and 2500 lz one third of the total length the total length is 2500 so one third is 2500 divided by 3 it's 834 approximately so lz 834 mm and for the lb since these purlins is being braced by the sheet connectors the bolt which is used to connect the sheet through these purlins and let's assume that the bolt spacing along the span of the purlin is 1000 mm so lb is 1000 and apply now just activate all and close these local axis and now just perform the design steel okay so we can check these bracings are having the maximum ratio of 0.286 these cords are having the maximum ratio of 0.92 these columns are having the maximum ratio of 0.711 these purlins are having 0.479 these girders are having 0.891 and these bracings are having 0.23 So, so this is the design i hope that you like this video in this video we have designed this structure only for the gravity loads uh, but uh, in reality there are some other loads as well so this is only for the learning point of view that how to design steel members in midas gen so i have tried a little to share my knowledge with you so in the next videos we will do some other structures and consider all the loads that we have not considered yet so this is up for today see you in the next video